Acid reflux is a common condition that can cause discomfort, pain, and even damage to the esophagus if left untreated. It occurs when the muscle at the bottom of the esophagus, known as the lower esophageal sphincter, doesn't close properly, allowing stomach acid to flow back up into the esophagus. Ranitidine is a popular medication used to treat this condition, but recent concerns have been raised about its safety. In this video, we'll explore the risks and benefits of taking ranitidine for acid reflux, and help you make an informed decision about whether or not it's the right treatment for you. What is ranitidine and how does it work? Ranitidine, also known as Zantac, is a medication that belongs to a class of drugs called H2 blockers. It works by reducing the amount of acid that is produced by the stomach, which can help to relieve the symptoms of acid reflux. When taken as directed, Ranitidine can help to reduce the frequency and severity of heartburn, acid reflux, and other related symptoms. Ranitidine is typically taken once or twice a day, either with or without food. It is available in both prescription and over-the-counter forms. While it's generally considered safe, recent concerns have been raised about the potential risks associated with taking ranitidine for extended periods of time. The Benefits of Taking Ranitidine for Acid Reflux there are many benefits to taking ranitidine for acid reflux. One of the most significant benefits is that it can provide rapid relief from the symptoms of acid reflux. Many people who suffer from this condition find that their symptoms are significantly reduced within just a few hours of taking ranitidine. In addition to providing relief from the symptoms of acid reflux, ranitidine can also help to prevent damage to the esophagus. When stomach acid flows back up into the esophagus on a regular basis, it can cause inflammation and irritation which can eventually lead to more serious conditions like esophagitis or Barrett's esophagus. By reducing the amount of acid that is produced by the stomach, ranitidine can help to prevent these conditions from developing. Risks and Side Effects of Taking Ranitidine While there are many benefits to taking ranitidine for acid reflux, there are also some potential risks and side effects that you should be aware of. Some of the most common side effects include headache, diarrhea, constipation, and nausea. These side effects are usually mild and go away on their own after a few days. More serious side effects are rare, but they can occur. These can include allergic reactions, liver problems, and blood disorders. If you experience any of these side effects while taking ranitidine, you should stop taking the medication immediately and seek medical attention. FDA Recall and Safety Concerns In 2019, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, issued a recall of all prescription and over-the-counter ranitidine products due to concerns about the presence of a potential cancer-causing substance called n nitrosodomethylamine NDMA. NDMA is a known environmental contaminant and is found in water and foods, including meats, dairy products, and vegetables. While the levels of NDMA found in ranitidine products were found to be low, the FDA recommended that patients stop taking the medication and switch to alternative treatments. Since then, many manufacturers have voluntarily recalled their ranitidine products, and the FDA has advised patients to dispose of any remaining medication. Alternatives to Ranitidine for Acid Reflux If you're looking for an alternative to ranitidine for acid reflux, there are many options available. One of the most popular alternatives is proton pump inhibitors (PPIs), which work by blocking the production of stomach acid. Other alternatives include antacids, which provide quick relief from symptoms, and lifestyle changes, such as avoiding trigger foods and losing weight. It's important to talk to your doctor about which treatment options are right for you. They can help you determine which medications or lifestyle changes will be most effective in treating your specific case of acid reflux. How to safely take ranitidine If you decide to take ranitidine for acid reflux, it's important to take the medication as directed and to follow all safety precautions. This includes taking the medication with a full glass of water, avoiding alcohol and caffeine, and not taking more than the recommended dose. It's also important to talk to your doctor about any other medications or supplements you're taking, as some can interact with ranitidine and increase the risk of side effects. Your doctor can help you determine the best dosage and treatment plan to ensure your safety and well-being. Consult with your doctor before taking ranitidine. If you're considering taking ranitidine for acid reflux, it's important to consult with your doctor first. They can help you determine whether or not the medication is right for you, and can provide guidance on how to take it safely and effectively. Your doctor may also recommend alternative treatments or lifestyle changes that can help to reduce the symptoms of acid reflux without the need for medication. By working closely with your doctor, you can develop a treatment plan that is tailored to your specific needs and health concerns. Conclusion and Final Thoughts 
Acid reflux is a common condition that can cause discomfort, pain, and damage to the esophagus if left untreated. While ranitidine is a popular medication used to treat this condition, recent concerns have been raised about its safety. While there are risks associated with taking ranitidine, there are also many benefits. If you're considering taking ranitidine for acid reflux, it's important to talk to your doctor about your options and to follow all safety precautions. Your doctor can help you determine whether or not ranitidine is the right treatment for you, and can provide guidance on how to take it safely and effectively. By working closely with your doctor, you can find a treatment plan that is tailored to your specific needs and health concerns. Thanks for watching.